Israel, or scattered abroad greetings in the name of Yahweh Bashem Hashem. Welcome to the open forum, brothers and sisters, this evening. So shout out to all the brothers and sisters of the nation of Israel scattered abroad. We're going back into our Bible Law Series, Part 9. Bible Law Series, Part 9. The ethics, the ethical, biblical laws that the Most High gave us. And we see the things going on in the world. And what's going on? Last time we left off, we were talking about dietary laws. Mm -hmm. Why is this so important? Because of this. What's going on in the world? Chinese city bans eating dogs and cats after coronavirus outbreak. Do y'all know that? That this outbreak of this disease and this affliction that's on mankind came from them not knowing the laws of the Most High. Let me show you how important that is. How extreme it is. Let's go to 2nd Ezra chapter 7 verse 20 in the Apocrypha. It is written, For there be many that perish in this life. How many people have died on this planet Earth right now because of sin? Millions. Thousands. How many wars have broke out? Why? It says, for there be many that perish in this life. This life we live in now. Because they despise the law of Yahweh that is set before them. For Yahweh is given straight, you know that? Straight commandments. Straight commandments meaning you cannot change them or add on to them or take away from them or say, well, maybe, you know, like, like maybe we can compromise. No. The most I say straight commandments, people. Straight commandments. So when you have straight commandments, does that mean we go to the left or the right of them? No. Why? Go to Deuteronomy 4 and 2. Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 2. You got our people out here that don't know the seasons and the times. And they don't understand that these laws of life regulate the whole planet, earth, and universe. And if you don't keep them, things happen. What it says here? You shall not add unto the word which I commanded you. Neither shall you diminish or from it. You hear that? Who made up all these religions and democracies and communism on this planet? These idols and philosophies of men. The Most High gave us the law. He said, do not take away from it or add unto it. Don't put nothing in here that don't belong in here. Because he gave us straight commandments. And that's what the denomination churches have done. And that's what a lot of our people have done, setting up their own righteousness on this planet. And we're going to show y'all as well. So the Most High said, many are going to perish in this life because they despise the laws of the Most High. And he gave straight commandments to such as come that they should do to live and that they uh, should do to live and that they should observe to avoid punishment. Who? Psalms 9, verse 17. Psalms 9, verse 17. Look what's going on in the world today, people. Because of the lack of understanding of the Most High's law. Yeah. Even dietary laws are spiritual, and dietary laws are straight commandments. The laws of life. They regulate life on this planet. Don't you know the Bible says you can't even kill the trees? That causes destruction of the earth. Look at look at the earth now. They don't cut, cut down all the trees, right? What do you have in the air now? Carbon monoxide, burning coals, fumes. 
they, they got gas prices going off the roof. You know why? Because the Most High said this kingdom is coming to its end. And the new, new Jerusalem is coming in. The end of the world is Esau. He done got to the top of his technology, militarism, democracy, and republicanism. And Israel, the 12 tribes, we done caught hell. Mama! On this planet. And guess who going to hell now? My wife, donations. Psalms 9, verse 17. It says this. The wicked shall return and the Mawa hell. The white man is headed for the third world's war. Economic destruction. Violence in the streets. Killing each other. He that take up this war shall what? Die by the spirit. He that kill up a man, his blood must be shed. These are laws that the most high made from the beginning. You shed somebody's blood, somebody else's blood got to be shed. No, what the white man say? Put him in jail. What they say in China? <laughs> Here you go. And all nations who forget Yahweh. Over there in China, they eat dogs. They eat rats, cats, hangers. Look at this. Dogs up on tables, people. This is documents from offline. You do your research and check it out. You know what they said over there in China? This is what they said. Listen to this. A city in China has made history by, uh, by becoming the first authority in the mainland to ban consumption and products, products of dog and cat meat. Who the hell would eat a damn dog? Mm. A filthy, mangy dog that wags his tail and you have people on this planet going to bed with them. Filthy animals. People on this planet. Hey, go right here. A glories of, uh, for days and not full of water being, uh, being abundant. Stabbed, poisoned, or suffocated to death. But on Tuesday, the city of Zikon took the historic decision to ban the cruel practice with a new law coming into effect on May 1st. The legislation also covers wild animals, meaning anyone caught eating, breeding, eating, or selling animals such as snakes, lizards, could be fined 150 yuan. I wonder how much that is in American money. <laughs> And as part of the wider uh, clampdown, the wildlife trade, since the coronavirus outbreak began in December, scientists suspect a new disease passed from humans to animals. Mm -hmm. So what science are you dealing with? Didn't the Lord tell us in the Bible not to deal with science? What is science? Equations. Mathematical philosophies made by man but the most high gave us the law to live by and all these nations gonna be turned to hell just doing it look at this the poor little dogs was in the street walking around in china the moabites and now they in cages and people were turning them into states look at this look at this these are dogs on the table dogs y'all see this Chopped them up, <clears throat> hung them up. Look at this. A uh, whole, y'all see them restaurants downtown Manhattan with these Chinese people. Go to downtown Manhattan on Canal Street. And you see them damn animals hanging in the window. You don't know what the hell that is. Amen. That's right. And a lot of y'all eat Chinese food. I stop eating Chinese food. Why? Because China is uncircumcised. They take everything and put it in the back and cook it, and then you come in there and order food that's under law, you might have uh, enzymes of swine that's in right. that food you eat. Right. I told my wife, I said, stop eating that damn food. Why? I said, because, honey, the Chinese are uncircumcised nations. And y'all got the nerve to get online and put white people in fringes. Some of y'all kids are like roots. We gonna rebuke the hell out of all of y'all. Cause that ain't, that ain't time for that. 
They came up back then for the glory of the, the most high Yahweh. Uh, is Israel in, in glory now? The people coming up to Zion for the most high? Hell, these tribes they ain't got their stuff together to come to the school. And sit down and learn to be circumcised. So the most high said these nations gonna be turned to Mawa. Hell. In these last days, these people that ate dogs, penguins, snakes, or okay, what? What does the most high Yahweh say about this? Didn't he say he gave us straight commandments? Let's go to our law in the Bible. God says it all. Why are we emphasizing on this? Because so many of our people are dying from uh, diseases and unhealthy living, and they're going to science and they're going to the white man and saying, we got to take a vaccine. Are you a dog? They vaccinate dogs, don't they? Don't they vaccinate dogs for rabies? See, y'all got to come from among them, my people. You don't know what they got in them vaccines. And that's why so many of our people are dead right now. Because they mingling in with these nations. They going to bed with them. I showed you all the pictures. How many Negroes out there going to bed with Chinese women? How many women, Chinese men, going to bed with sisters? It's out there, and this is going on right now as we speak on this live program, and you're wondering why you're getting sick from the girlfriend that you met in China. You're wondering why you dying, brother? And you wonder why this stuff is coming back into the Israelite community? And our people getting sick and dying from this crap because these germs are in their culture. Mm -hmm. Don't y'all realize that what the Most High said? Mm -hmm. That's why he said, don't marry those nations, man and woman. Deuteronomy chapter 7. And what he said about eating their foods. Mm -hmm. Leviticus chapter 11 verse 1. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. Whatsoever has fins and scales in the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, then ye eat. Bluefish. Having some bluefish for dinner today. Delicious. Travels. Can we eat shark? Huh? How about kingfish? <laughs> they got scales? They got to have fins and scales. Dolphins, all of that. No. Shrimp. Now, I'm going to show you the stuff tonight. Unprohibited uh, foods. The last time we showed you what you can eat, now we're going to show you what you can't eat. It says here, uh, verse 10, And all that have no fins and scales and of the seas and in the rivers, all that move in the waters and uh, anything living which is in the waters shall be an abomination unto you. Crayfish, you old country bumpkins down south, Louisiana, backwoods, Negroes, eating crayfish. You're eating also that thing that swims in the water, these fish. You backwoods Negroes. Where y'all get this from? From the despoiler. Do you know the Lord said that in Hosea chapter 9? He said, in this captivity, you're going to eat unclean things. Go to Hosea chapter 9. That's why our people, they, they don't live wrong. Everything we're doing is contrary to biblical law. The Lord said, the wages of sin is what? Death. Death. Here you go, Hosea chapter 9. It says here, uh, They shall not offer wine offering unto the Lord in this land, neither shall they be pleasing unto him. Their sacrifices shall be unto them as bread of waters. All they eat them shall be polluted, and their bread and their soul shall not come into the house of the Lord. See that? What will you do? And what shall you do in the solemn day? And in the day of the feast, said the Lord. And they, they ain't keeping that either, are they? Our people. So the sacrifices we got going on here, and we polluted. 
In the book of Amos, the Lord said, you're going to be in a polluted land. And the pollutions get in our systems because of what we eat. And you mingling in with these nations, eating their food, laying down with their women. That's a big thing now. Blasians. What the hell is a blasian, man? You Negroes have invented a new race. Who invented the nations? The Lord did. If you lay down, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, with another nation, and you have a baby with that nation, that baby is your baby from your nation, from your city. And now you land with Japanese and Chinese women, and you're calling them Asians. And the first thing they do with them little girls is turn them into prostitutes. Why? Because Israel's in the waters. And what you eat, it stinks. It's polluted. And that's why our bodies and minds are polluted. So many of our people die. You smoke cigarettes. Yeah, dad out there on the reservation selling cigarettes to our people. Do they care about your temple? No, they don't. And then they got shrimp in there. Lots of God. people don't went into the way of the Gentiles on this side of the earth. They just want to make a profit. There you go. Uh, verse 11. And they shall be even an abomination unto you. You shall not eat their flesh, but you shall have their carcasses in abomination. Whatsoever has no fins, no scales, and waters, that shall be an abomination unto you. And these are the things which you shall have in abomination among the fowls, and shall not be eaten. Uh, they are an abomination. The eagle. eagle. American <laughs> eagle. Do you eat eagles? No, you don't need to eat, eat, eat eagles. Gas, stop, stop eating, eating them eagles. damn eagles. Mm -hmm. On the damn reservation. Turn my head. They got the damn feathers. Why they be doing them stupid? Don't you, don't you know the Lord says something about that? Um, Hosea. What a Hosea. He talked about the eagle in there too. Here you go right here. What he told our people. He told the prophets, when you go to him, become this. Mm -hmm. Hosea 8 and 1. Set the trumpet at thy mouth. What's the trumpet? The Bible. He shall come as an eagle against the house of the Lord. You know what the Lord coming with? Y'all brothers be doing them dances on the reservation. That's what we coming with. The law, the law and the testimony. We coming with this in the Bible to rebuke y'all and to reprove y'all to save some of y'all. Like it says in the book of Jude. Some save with fear, others cut them down. And rebuke the hell out of our people. Ain't none of y'all living right. That's why the most I said one of a city and two of a family. <laughs> to bring new designs. I don't look at my family members no more. I look at them and I say, what you want, man? Mm -hmm. I said, no, oh, I'm too busy for you. Why? Because mm -hmm. they're not keeping what the Lord told them to keep. They're not interested in the laws, statutes, or commandments, especially marriage. Mm -hmm. Dietary laws? Huh, eat anything. Mm -hmm. Go out there and see what our people eat. You see these big women, they behinds, big as a polar bear, and they sitting in the restaurant eating again. Going to sleep 10 o'clock at night, eating again. <laughs> Laying down sleeping, and your body swelling up all that damn cholesterol, and you end up in the damn operating room when the doctor cuts you open. You know what comes out of your body? Cholesterol. My brother died from heart disease and being a faggot. They opened him up, man, he had a bucket of cholesterol in his body. Mm -hmm. I said, you know what? You die, brother. You eat every damn thing and you're screwing me. And he died at 52 years old. He didn't even make it to 55. Mm -hmm. Eating the wrong foods can kill you. Mm -hmm. See? So the Lord said, put the trumpet to our people's mouth. So y'all like eagles? And it's an abomination. We, we're going to blow the trumpet. And it says here, and the ostrich, and the osprey. That means birds of prey, you do not eat them. You see them guys on them shows? Uh, 
naked and afraid and all them not, uh, stand in the woods for 90 days and he and she survive on all of that, what do they eat out there? They eat all them damn birds they catch in the forest. A lot of them is predators and they eat them. You don't know what them birds got. They got all type of parasites in their bodies. I saw a show today where a man, a white man, you see the mic, had a disease from Japan. Went to the doctor. He said, oh, oh, oh. the boy said, he had Japanese food. The doctor said, oh, what kind of Japanese food did he eat? You know what he ate? A bunch of snails, mm -hmm. a bunch of noodles, and crabs. Mm. Abomination. See this little abomination right here? We just read it. You're not supposed to eat crab, people. And he had a crab and he ate it raw. That's what the Japanese do. All right, all right, they eat damn crab. And then women get that stuff in their body. And you go up in them, Israel, race mixing. Here they go right here. And you come back home looking skinny, scrawny, and sickly. You know why? Because you land with the heathens. And they eat all type of abominations. And when you go up in their bodies, you bring that stuff back to the systems and you poison their bodies. And the whole Israelite community broke out with coronavirus. And you're wondering why you dying. And we got to walk around here with a damn mask on in the summertime. Because of sin. Here it go, right here. And the vulture, and the kite, and of this kind. Don't you know vultures are nasty? You know what they do? Go to Africa or Ham and die in the damn jungle. You look up a bunch of vultures flying. You see them animal shows? Mm -hmm. Them vultures will fly around and soon as you stop breathing, they're on the ground like this. <laughs> and they wait for you to die and they mm -hmm. eat you and pick your bones off your body. Those are scavengers, just like lobsters and crabs in the bottom of the ocean. You do not eat vultures. Every raven of his kind. You see them old black ravens outside? The big black birds? Country ass backwood Negroes. Do you hear that? You don't eat ravens. That's right, by now. We see our people down south going in the woods, shooting ravens and taking them home and eating them birds. You don't eat ravens, people. And the owl, and the nighthawk, and the cuckoo, and the hawk of his kind. Don't eat hawks either. And the little owl, and the cornerman, and the great owl, and the swan, and the pelican, and the dairy eagle. <laughs> <laughs> you know I had a little snooker for you. <laughs> it, see? And the stork, and the heron of all kinds, and the lap wing, and the what? Bat. Yeah. Dead Chinese people, it was online, I did class on this. <laughs> they had the dogs in there too. The dogs was in here, and they had bats. They had a Chinese woman eating mm. bats. Mm. Look at these Chinese guys. They got the dogs tied up inside a cage in China. So if your dog escaped out of the out of the cage mm. in your yard or from his rope in China, guess where you gonna end up at? On somebody's dinner table. Mm. And I'm saying, man, these people cook. Look how they cook these animals. They cook it like, like you going to a, uh, look at this. Mm. Like a stew. Oh. And then you look in the pot, the guy that's cooking it for you, and Fido's head is mm. in a bloody mess. This is China. And you're wondering why there's diseases all over the planet Earth. Because of communism. Mm -hmm. Those people are communists. And before that, they were uh, had princes and all type of stuff of martial arts and kings over there. And before that, when it was in the land of Moab underneath next door to us, they were doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. Kimash was their so-called god. Mm -hmm. Now, today they're in the violism. Look at them Chinese movies. They be, and they be doing all that mm -hmm. stuff and killing people and all. That is black magic and Murder. That's right. You can learn martial arts, but don't learn their, their, their ways. See? So these are the things the Lord is saying in the book. See? Verse 21. 
Get these men ye eat, and every fine creeping that go up upon all four. Uh, you may eat every uh, fine creeping thing that go up upon all four, which have legs above their feet to leap within upon the earth. That's talking about the animals we covered last time, like deers and so forth and so on. Even this, these of them ye may eat. The locust of his kind and the bird and the bald crocus after his kind. Don't you know you can eat locusts? Who ate locusts in the Bible? John the Baptist. He ate locusts and wild honey. The, the Christians here at the church, they go, ooh, he ate locusts. Uh, the Lord said you can eat them. The Lord said we can eat them. Okay? Got to cook them though. And it says here, and the beetle after his kind. You can eat beetles too. And the grasshopper after his kind. But all the flying creeping things which have four feet shall be an abomination unto you. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Let's be it up. And for these shall be unclean. Whosoever toucheth the carcass of them shall be unclean even to the evil. And whosoever bear aught the carcass of them and wash his clothes, he shall be unclean to the evil. The carcass of every beast which divideth the hoof and is not cloven for it, nor chew up the cud, or unclean unto you. And every one of them that toucheth them shall be unclean. Mm -hmm. And whosoever go up upon his paws. Mm -hmm. oh! Oh. What's that? A dog. Right there in the Bible. That is that in the Bible? Go tell China to stop eating these damn dogs. And after the damn coronavirus broke out, they shut down all the markets in Wuhan, and they were over there studying this damn disease that they caught from these animals. And these are the diseases that you catch for breaking the laws of the Most High Yahweh. And these dogs and cats and bats and these pangolins that they were eating over there caused a worldwide plague. Did Yahweh Shah, Yahweh, uh, speak about this? Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. Go to Matthew 24, verse 7, my favorite scripture mm -hmm. of this time that we live in. I was telling people that when the thing broke out, they were looking at me like I was crazy. I said, what Yahweh Shah said about the nation? Matthew 24, verse 7, he said this. For nation shall rise up against nation. You see that going on? Russia invading Ukraine. That's going to lead America and their allies. And the ones that side with Russia and China and the other nations is going to bring them to a boiling point of Armageddon. And that's when the second coming of Yahweh Shah is coming. And we're getting out of captivity. We're not getting out of captivity by the political prowess, not by reparations, not by the so-called Negro, so-called churches, and the thousands of them that you have out here, and all the groups that you got out here, and these so-called Negroes, rest in the Puerto Ricans. We're gonna go over this on the Shabbat. We're not getting out of here because a Negro opened up a church on a corner and you got a tax number or you believe in Islam or whatever the hell you believe in. We're not gonna be saved that way. And if you're into the other Jesus, plain and simple. You're not gonna be saved. Not according to this Bible. Find out what's in here by going to the elect of Israel. Thus saith the Lord. And it says here, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, and what? Circle that word. Pestilences. You hear that? Was this a precedent? Ask the Negro West in the Puerto Rican. And I remember back then when this thing popped out and we went to the elders back then and the elders was telling us what was going on because nobody knew what was going on. And a lot of people died amongst us. When this broke out in the 80s, what 
was this? Why is the world filled with AIDS? Huh? Why so many people of our people got AIDS? Because you despise the laws of the Most High. The Most High say, he that uh, hated me, loved that. I ministered to faggots. One of my brother was a faggot. I said, you know all that's against the law of the Most High. He said, that ain't in the Bible. Mm. They had total denial of truth. I said, you're a liar. You snake. You're drag queen. You're a faggot. You're a rabble. You down low, simple Negro. I called him that. And the Lord told us to beat y'all when y'all do stuff like this. This brings death. He said, pestilence. And when the AIDS came out, it came out because all around the world, a white man was making laws. Let's go to Isaiah chapter uh, 30. What the Most High said about this man making his own laws. Whoa! One of them is this. Isaiah 30. Woe to the rebellious children, said the house, that take a counsel, but not of me. Isaiah 10. What counsel? Woe! There it go again. Unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. This is unrighteous. The faggot flags you see on your on your on your job, they used to be on my job too. I got the hell out of there eventually. Mm -hmm. By hook or by crook. Mm -hmm. They represent the rainbow. The rainbow in the Bible represents the Lord ain't gonna destroy the earth again with, with, with that water. They turn it into a movement of hormones and lockouts and lesbians. Where y'all going with stuff like this? except to an early grave. So all of this that's going on with the animals, it caused a worldwide pandemic. And the Lord said that this is going to happen. You remember Rosie O'Donnell? That dyke and lesbian on TV? What happened to her? They got married, and a few months later, they broke up. You know why? You're going against nature. What are you going to do with a woman, woman? And then the woman goes, and you will do all that. Off. And what are you doing? Causing more of this. And we warning y'all, if you don't be pent, you're going to die. Or the most high is going to hit you with them atomic bombs, and you're going to burn your ass to a crisp. Jude, the seventh verse. This is what's coming. Did not the Lord tell the people in Sodom and Gomorrah? When the angels came in there, and Abraham, uh, Lot was in there, he went out with his daughters. Did he not go in there and said, if I find one righteous, I won't destroy the city. But find one. He said, well, bro, what about one? Lord? He said, if I find one in there, I'll, let's go out there, people, and let's go find one who's keeping the laws. That's what our mission is. He said, go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, Go in there, salute the house, and inquire who's worthy. The ones of y'all that's here now, the most I found you worthy. The ones of you that's out there in the world, you ain't worthy to be here. That's why you won't see the screen filled up with 10,000 Negroes western of Puerto Rico. I'm looking for one of a city and two of a family. Amen. And the Lord said he's going to bring us to Zion. This ain't going to make it in there. This is this immorality. This is why I always bring this out. This is gonna bring death. These two boys right here probably laying in a damn grave or they burn their bodies up and throw them in the damn river somewhere. Because that's where you end up at when you live that way. The wages of sin is death. So the Lord said in Isaiah, woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and right grievous which they have prescribed to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people, that widows may be their prey, and that they may rob the fathers. Rob us is over us. Damn white.
white people, blonde hair and blue-eyed devils worldwide ruling over us, making these damn laws, eating every damn thing in the name of Jesus. Don't get me started. Holy Spirit, get on me, man. I do all type of stuff. I might even jump over this camera. <laughs> I ain't gonna do that, people. Anyway, see what it says here? And what will you do in the day of visitation? And in the desolation which shall come from far. You know where this is coming from? From the heavens. Mm -hmm. Amen. So when the Lord comes through here, what y'all gonna do? You faggots? All you nations that turn from the most high, you headed to hell. My wow. My wow. That's how you say it in Russia one production. What's my wow? Destruction. Destruction. What happened to these people in China? Now the Chinese women want men. Don't mess with no Chinese woman, man. God. This one she gonna cook you? Honey, I'll make food for you tonight. What you making? <laughs> dog! You eat dog? You eat abominations. Leviticus says what? Do not eat that, Israel. We do not eat dogs, cats, rats, penguins, bats, none of that stuff. Shrimp, lobster, and crab mm -hmm. is off the list too. All these little creepy crawly creatures, the mouse, the snakes, bats, pelicans, look at that, this whole thing got it, crabs. Stop eating crabs, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. Tell your parents, stop eating crab and pig feet. It's poison to your system. God. And we emphasize in this why, because it's the law and the testimony. The Leviticus chapter 11, verse, uh, what? 27. That's the dogs. And he that grabbed the carcass of them shall wash his clothes and be unclean until the evening. They are not unclean on you. These are also shall be unclean on you from among creeping things that creep upon the earth. The weasel. <laughs> there you go right there. Ain't that a weasel? <laughs> weasel. Don't eat no damn weasels. I know we're in a despoiler, but keep the commandments. The most I say don't eat weasels. Uh... The mouse, don't eat no damn mice. I see people are naked and afraid eating damn mice. The guy was catching mice on an island. He was there for uh, 21 days and he ate rats. Mm. When I see rats, <coughs> kick them out, man. The carriers of disease and plague. Mm. And New York City is full of them. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't live in the city. I live in the woods, man. That's right. You go to the city now, you might get shot. Yep. You might get AIDS. Or you might get ripped off and killed, killed living in these damn cities of destruction. What is saying in Isaiah 24, 10? The city of confusion is broken down. The law is slapped. The criminals are taken over. And what's the mayor doing in New York with his suit, suit and tie? We're going to, the whole damn city behind him is falling over. We're going to take care of it. And the white man is sitting there selling guns at gun shows and the guns in the streets. And he's still making speeches while Rome is. Remember uh, Nero? What they say Nero was doing? Rome was burning and Nero. And, and Rome was falling down, burning behind him. That's what New York City is doing. Rome is burning. The wicked going to hell. Let's forget about the most half. This is where we living at, people. So don't eat no damn weasels and rats. That's what it says here. Uh, it says the mouse and the tortoise. After don't eat turtles. Turtle soup. Don't eat that crap. Don't eat turtles, brothers. And the ferret and the chameleon. Uh, chameleon. You know. And the lizard. And the snail. And the mole. Who the hell would eat a mole, man? Don't eat them damn things. They're unclean. These are unclean under you among all the creek whosoever shall touch them, they shall be dead. They shall be what? <laughs> dead and shall be unclean until the evening. And upon whosoever all of them 
when uh, they are dead, thus fall, it shall be unclean. And whatsoever shall be in a vessel of wood, and a remnant of skin, and of sack, whatsoever the vessel it shall be when any work is done, it must be put into water, and it shall be unclean until the evening. So shall it be cleansed. And every uh, earthen vessel, whosoever of, of them that falleth, whatsoever he is, it shall be unclean, and shall not break it. Of all meat which shall be eaten, mm. that's on which such water cometh shall be unclean. And all drink that may be drunk on every such vessel shall be unclean. So when we get our meat, what the Lord told us to do to our meat in the Bible? The clean meat. He said, roast it. You'll be healthier. Don't fry your foods, people. Get your oven and your sister you know how to cook. And after you saute your food, get the blood out first. I'm going to show you that in Leviticus chapter 17, verse 13. Get the blood out first. Because I'm a hunter and a fisherman. And I go hunting fishing. And when we catch the animals, what do we do? We follow the law. Verse 13. And whatsoever man there is of the children of Israel or the stranger, that's the joint up among you, see? We don't have strangers with us now because we're getting away from them and coming from among them. Which the hunter and catch of any beast or fowl is clean, that is, that may be eaten. See, that may be eaten according to the law. He shall even pour out his blood down and cover it with dust. Why? For it is a life of all flesh, and the blood of it for the life thereof. Therefore, I said unto thee, the children of Israel, you shall eat the blood of, of you shall eat the blood of no manner of flesh. See, don't have the blood in the animals that you catch. If you get food, make sure the blood is dripped out. Like when I catch those fish, I cut the heads, and I let all that blood fall out, and let it fall on the ground and cover it with dirt. Then you put them in the freezer, you cut them, and you saute them, and when you eat it, it tastes delicious. But how do you eat it? Mm -hmm. Let's go to Exodus 12 and 8. These are all commandments. We've got to keep these. It says this in Exodus 12 and 8. How do you eat food? You, uh, you, you roast it. Here you go. Exodus chapter 12, verse 8 says this. And you shall eat the flesh, and that night roast with fire. You see that? When we kept the Passover, what do you do? You roast the lamb. Mm -hmm. So when you eat your clean meats, roast it. If you get you a grill, get you a small grill. Put it in your backyard or wherever you live at and get olive oil and avocado oil. These are oils that are of nature. And then it keeps you healthy, it keeps your veins open. And go for a walk and work out. Get you one of them videos, start working out. And take care of your heart because your heart takes care of you. And if you keep these commandments in the Bible, you will be healthy and you can live past 70 years old instead of dropping dead from swine pork and clogged arteries at 20, 30 years old. Mm -hmm. This is what we need on this planet. We need order. And the order is the law and the law is the laws of life. And according to Leviticus chapter 11, we must keep these commandments and these are things we're going to teach and continue to teach. So it says here, uh, Let's go to, uh, this is talking about the cleanliness of pits. In verse 39, it says, But if anywhere water be upon the sea, at any time that the carcass shall fall down, it shall be unclean unto you. So these laws, in, in verse 39, if any beast which is uh, that you may shall die, he that toucheth the carcass shall be unclean until the evening. So don't eat animals that die of themselves. You find out animals are sold to you, that's why I tell y'all to stop eating those nations' foods because sometimes these animals in these places get chopped down or they die from a disease. They don't tell you. Make sure you find out the companies that you're eating meat from is clean and make sure when you get it home, cure the meat. Soak it in vinegar, soak it in some uh, uh, orange juice and lemon juice with water to get them germs out of there. And then, if it's blood in there, hang it upside down, and then roast it with fire. And I bet you you'll be healthier in the end. 
He that eat in verse 40, he that eat the carcass of it shall wash his clothes and be unclean unto thee. He also that bear the carcass of it shall wash his clothes and be unclean unto thee. And every creeping thing that creep upon the earth shall be an abomination, and it shall be not be eaten. Whosoever uh, go up upon the belly, and whosoever go up upon all four, or whatsoever are more feet among all creeping things that creep upon the earth, them shall ye not eat, for they are an abomination. You shall not make yourselves abominable and a creeping thing that creep up. Neither shall you make yourselves unclean with them, and you shall be, uh, uh, you shall, you should not be defiled thereby. For I am your who? Yahweh. I am your power. Your power. Your power. You shall therefore sanctify yourselves. Everyone should be sanctified. That's in a camp. Mm -hmm. and if you're in a camp, a uh, makaga, a camp is part of the nation. The nation. If you're the seed of Israel, each and every one of you should come to the priest and get yourself sanctified in the laws of life. This is a foundation for you to become a follower and a disciple of my What did my shasha say? He that has my commandments is him that loveth me. Mm -hmm. And he that has the commandments and do them shall be loved of who? Of the most high. Mm -hmm. What is saying the law? The most high shall show you. Millions and thousands of them that fear him and keep his commandments. These are the laws of life, people. See what it says here? That brought you up out of the land of Egypt to be your power. Ye shall therefore be holy, for I am holy. See that? For mm -hmm. So to be holy is to keep the commandments and the faith of your holy child. This is the law of the beast, of all the fowl, and every living creature that moveth in the waters, and to every creature that creep up on the earth, to make a difference between the unclean and the clean, and between the beast of them that may be eaten, and the beast that may not be eaten. The law has spoken. These are the laws of life, people. And these commandments must be practiced amongst us because if we don't all the nations that it says in the scriptures are going to turn toward hell these nations are bringing forth these plagues on the earth because the most high is plaguing them because they keep not the commands so what's required of you by ending scripture that all these been out what it says in Hosea 10 and 12 people Let's go there real quick. I always quote it, but I'm going to read it tonight. Along with you. See what it says here? Hosea. He was a prophet during the time of the split between Israel and Judah. Mm -hmm. And he said this. And you see this going on amongst our people today. Sow unto yourselves in righteousness and reap in mercy. See? So how do you sow unto yourselves in righteousness now? by binding yourself into the law and the testimony and leaving all other false styles alone and doctrines of devils. And it says here, weep and mercy, be merciful toward each other. Break up your follow ground. A lot of you brothers is playing around. You know what a lot of you brothers are doing? How can you obtain wisdom if you're always working? How can you obtain wisdom if you follow you, if you're playing around? If you're not serious about this faith and this truth in the Bible, you're in the wrong place. Mm -hmm. So he says, break up your follow ground. For it is time to seek Yahweh, till he come and rain righteousness upon you. So until the coming of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, what did the Lord tell us to do? Come together, assemble yourselves, old nation, not desire. Mm -hmm. Let's go to that scripture in the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. What he told us to do in the meantime? Here, go right here. We have to do this. Old nation, not desire. Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1 says this. Gather yourselves together, yea, gather together, O nation, not desire. 
What nation on this earth is not designed? The 12 lost tribes of the nation of Israel. Judah, so-called Negroes. Benjamin, the so-called Jamaicans. Levi, the so-called Haitians. Simeon, the so-called Dominicans. Zebulon, the Panama, uh, uh, Panama, Panamanians, the Guatemala. Ethan, the so-called Puerto Ricans. Manasseh, the so-called Cubans. God, the North American Indians. Reuben, the so-called Seminole Indians. Naphtali, the people of Argentina and Chile. Asher, Colombia, the Uruguay, and Issachar, the so-called Mexicans. Gather yourself together, repent, for the day of Yahweh Basham al is at hand. And he said to do what? Before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as a child. You know what's going to make the day pass as a child? You know what the child is? Something that burns. When this war comes, people, it's going to be like a flame of fire. It's going to be like somebody took a whole bunch of cans of gasoline and threw a match in there. What's going to happen? The thing's going to blow up just like that. So when the Lord come back here, he's coming like a thief in the night. And in the day of judgment, so gather yourselves together, O nation that desire, because the day of the Lord is at hand. I'm priest of Taz, Master Journey of Israel, the Bible of the Bar, and the Evangelist, our uh, elder of the Bible based ministry. Salute me, brothers and sisters, in the name of Yahweh Bashama Shah. Peace be unto you, and it's time. Seek the most high, y'all. Shalom.